Hey guys, this is Dave with Scribe of Why. Wanted to go over a few things today since uh, you know, got home a little late and uh, wasn't able to get out in the woods. So we're doing it here in my living room studio. So what I wanted to go over was uh, you've seen this before in the bamboo uh, tent stake video that didn't go so hot, but I haven't tried that again yet. This is the scout pack that I have that I like to use. Leave it in my car, and then when I get the chance to kind of sneak out and go play in the woods, that's what I do. That's a useful solution for me. Um, don't always get to plan my bushcraft events, so this is kind of my light pack that I get to carry. It's just a sling pack, and as you can see, not too big. Got nice reflective tape on there if I'm walking out at night. You know, I don't get run over by a car, so that's what that is. So let me go over some things real quick. What we got here? So when we first open it up. Boom, right there. Um, it's really trauma dressing. Okay, that can be used as a tourniquet and as a bandage. And then we got a first aid kit in here. Um, this is a little old cheapo kit that I got, but uh, so it, it's a useful case, nice bright color. And then we've added some stuff to that. So, first off, a must for Hawaii is 100% uh, uh, DEET uh, bug repellent got to have it, uh, especially for the real jungle areas. And then next up, sunscreen. Okay, so that's been loaded out. Um, got duct tape in here. Um, that's always useful. I uh, got some moleskins, uh, various little tablets here, probably uh, antibot or not antibot, painkillers, anti-diarrheals, um, little stuff like that. Um, and then here we got just food kit, um, latex gloves there, tick tweezers, tape, safety pens, stuff like that. So there's some generic stuff that run here, and then I have some larger bandages that I threw in, stuff like that, 4 by 4s So, you know, when you get these little kits, you might get them free, you might get them cheap, you see them in a discount bin. Go ahead and pick one up, because usually the container's worth more than stuff that's in it, and then add your stuff to it. Um, it's a great way just to you know have an organizational case. So that's what's in there. The reason why it's right there so I can open it up and address the issue if I have an issue. So and then there's two zippered compartments here. You see these clips kind of holding it down. This is a waist belt if you want to use it. It's so light I don't end up using it much. So that's that. And then you can see on the outside here too. I just have some glow sticks. Got red and then two green ones. And then this came with it. This is a generic uh, pack, kind of built off the of monsoon, I think, for uh, from Maxpedition. But you know, I just wanted to give it a try, and it's worked out well for me so far. This is a uh, Everest pack, so I can give you a link where you guys can get it. This little loop that came with it, what I like to use it for is just throwing the tomahawk in there. Um, you just slide it down in there, and then I have a sheet that's over the blade edge on that. And so that's a real easy way to carry it. The other way I want to do it, uh, if I'm carrying a machete, I'll, I'll just put it on these straps on the bottom. I'll just slip it underneath these straps, and that's a good way to go for it. So, two containers. We'll start off uh, with this one. And here I have uh, so a USGA poncho, and inside the poncho pack, uh, I just have a couple elastic bungee cords, so you can throw it up real quick. Uh, love these things. Uh, next up, we have the trash bin liner. Uh, again, you know, if I want to use it as a ground sheet, if I want to use it to throw bedding material, stuff like that, and to carry an impromptu uh, rain jacket if I'm using this for a shelter or something like that. It's just something that's flexible, it's easy to carry. Uh, bandana, good to keep the sun off you, various other things. And then these are important uh, wet wipes, baby wet wipes. Um, Around the woods, a lot of people forget to bring stuff with them, and I'd rather not be using a leaf if I'm out there overnight uh, unexpectedly, or if I'm just out there hanging out. Put some baby wipes in your kit, guys. Um, I think that's it for this compartment. So, let's take a look at the next compartment, and this is more tools. Okay. So first off, water bottle. So just a stainless steel water bottle. 
Then I have my wood gasification stove that I made out of a paint, um, paint can, and then it's got a soup can that's been fitted in the bottom. There's a lot of places you can find out how to make these online. So this burns hot, and it doesn't use a lot of fuel. You can just use twigs and stuff like that. So again, the idea of this pack was stuff that's real fast. No, no complicated stuff to it, so it's a lot easier to have the stove going than having a full fire going. So the prep's a little bit easier, a little bit faster. Um, next up, we have this uh, Fat Max saw. So the reason I chose this one is you can switch out the blades. So one, you can use hacksaw blades just like that, or you can use these like sawzall blades. And uh, you know, it's not the hugest blade in the world for cutting stuff, but it's gonna you know, do a lot more than having to whack on a knife, so just having a quick saw to zip through stuff is great. Uh, next up, I got this on clearance at Sports Authority, I think, so they don't have them there anymore, but this was the Buck Diamondback. Um, good size blade. I think it was about 30 bucks for this and another little blade that I'll show you that I have in here. Um, this thing, been happy with it. I haven't used it a whole lot. It's in this pack, and I just haven't really, really used this pack a whole ton. But um, the sheath sucks. I'm thinking about making another one out of Kydex, something like that. But I've uh, been real happy with the knife as far as doing little tasks. And uh, this bugger can throw a spark pretty good off the fire steel, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so there's that. Just have a hank of accessory cord, use this for general line type stuff. Um, in here right now, I don't have the 550 cord that I usually carry, but I usually carry a big hank of 550 cord. Um, here we have an Adventure Medical Kits Bivy Sack, and this is the 2.0. Uh, nice and light. It, it squishes down pretty good, and that's just a nice little emergency shelter. Nice and warm. Keeps the water off you. Um, gloves. Those are always handy. You don't want to be busting up your knuckles when you're out there. And then, uh, okay, so first some pouches we have. This is something that I could throw on my belt real quick, just have with me if I'm using it. Same thing with the knife, I'd probably throw that on my belt if I was going out with it. So here we have more accessory cord, nice little lock back folder, um, little teeny tiny blade there. But again, you have having two blades is useful. And here we have. Uh, Emergency blanket, packs down nice and small. You can use that as a fire reflector, you can use it as a blanket, you know, use it as a shelter if you had to. Here you just have some split shot, uh, emergency whistle, a lighter, some more tender, um, some wire, fish hooks, uh, fishing line, pencil, another little button compass. So just, just kind of a little backup gear type stuff that's in there. Fishing kit. Uh, one thing I need to add to that probably is just throwing my fishing license there <laughs> just to have it. Um, and the next up, we got a little ditty bag here and this little pouch. We have this, which is just tender and a candle. So, candle, you know, if you light a match, light a candle. If you get the lighter out, it's a lot easier to light little twigs and stuff like that off of the burning flame that's there so you're not wasting them. Um, the fuel and the lighter. Then we just have a bunch of various cotton balls and stuff like that uh, soaked in petroleum jelly. So that's just a lot of tender that's ready to go. A uh, little tin of petroleum jelly. Use it on your lips to keep the wind off. Um, use it just on the tools that I have here to keep them from getting all rusty. I, th I find it you know good to have uh, petroleum jelly in the kit from fire bows, spindles, to all kinds of different stuff like that. Um, so here we just got a regular Culligan's fire steel, and like I said, the buck just throws sparks real well. Um, what I like to do on any kind of knife like that is you look for where the grind starts. Usually that's one of the sharper edges as far as the spine goes. The back of the spine, you see, it doesn't quite do as well as that right there. So that's that's what I always look for um, using that tip, and uh, even this little dinky knife that I was talking about. This came with the buck. Um, that that edge right there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there you go. So both of those can throw a spark pretty well. It's sitting there in the ditty bag. 
Uh, next up, I have this guy. Just a multi tool that I've had for a while. Um, it's hooking on this pretty good. It's got that belt clip and it's going through that wire mesh. So I got another little uh, fire steel that's been sitting on here for a while, so I don't know if it'll spark. Um, so just the pliers, which are good to use. It's got a little screwdriver or something like that. It's it's a light lightweight one, another blade. So I'm kind of bladed out here. Uh, but I just figured I'd throw it in there for the pliers. You could probably just go ahead and get a small pair of pliers and throw it in a small kit like this. But since I had it and I wasn't using it, I carry a multi-tool daily. Figured why not. Finally, we got a little one double A battery flashlight. Um, it's a decent one. Uh, I got it wrapped in rubber in case you have to bite on it. Uh, let me cord it again. And in the bottom of the bag there, there's another AAA battery. So that's what I have in there. Pretty well covered with fire, shelter, uh, a little bit of personal care items, first aid, and a good set of tools for just fooling around in the woods. So stay with Survival Y. Um, let me know what you've been putting in your kids. All right, guys. Later.